This is WENY News. Well, thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross Cimate. Here is the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Our top story this morning is the kickoff to race weekend. Of course, the garages open up at 8.30 a.m. for the NASCAR Sprint Cup drivers at Watkins Glen International. They'll take their first practice laps today from 11.30 a.m. to 12.50 p.m. And their second and final practice is this evening from 4.40 to 5.55. The Cheese at 3.55 qualifying will be tomorrow at 1.15 in the afternoon. And all of this leads up to the big race on Sunday, which starts at 2 p.m. Tune into WENY News for coverage throughout the day, as well as tomorrow night's live special, Thunder at the Glen, starting at 7 p.m. on WENY ABC. And if you've ever been to the big race before, you know the traffic can get backed up on Sunday. So Watkins Glen PD will be opening and closing different parts of the road at different times to help move traffic along. Starting on Sunday morning at 6 a.m., there will be three lanes of traffic going from State Route 414 to Gate 2 of the racetrack and two open lanes from Townsend Road to Cool Winter Way. There will be one lane of traffic from Bronson Hill Road to Townsend Road, and then at 9 a.m., Cool Winter Way will be a one-way road in both directions from County Route 16 to Gate Number 5 and from Bronson Hill Road to Gate Number 6. And the traffic pattern will switch at 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. There will be one-way traffic on County Route 16 headed toward the track, but three lanes will open up heading towards State Route 414, which is away from the track. There will be also two lanes of one-way traffic going down Cool Winter Way from Gate Number 6 to Route 414. And there will be two lanes going from Gates 5 and 4 on Cool Winter Way to County Route 16. New this morning, Dem Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer has announced he will vote against President Obama's nuclear deal with Iran. The agreement reached by Iran and six Western nations last month seeks to curb Iran's ability to acquire a nuclear weapon. It requires Iran's civil nuclear program to meet certain conditions in exchange for the lifting of sanctions. The agreement is in the midst of a 60-day congressional review. Schumer says he doesn't trust Iran to keep up its end of the deal. His announcement that he will oppose it strikes a high-profile blow to the administration's effort to rally Democratic support. And now here is my meteorologist Ryan Bells with today's forecast. Good morning, Ryan. Hey there, Ross. Uh, our first warning weather forecast for today. Our weather story starting it off. We're going to see some patchy fog early today, then turning mostly sunny to end off the work week. Your Friday is looking very nice, mainly sunny skies and a 5-degree guarantee near 80 degrees today. Mainly sunny skies continue into the weekend for racing up at Watkins Glen. Let's go racing as it's going to be a great weekend up at the racetrack. And then after race weekend, some showers and storms return into the forecast next week as the cold front moves into the area and brings rain and thunderstorms. That is Monday, Tuesday, and even into your Wednesday. Satellite and radar, you can see some rain off to our south, and that's going to stay there. Low pressure system parked off to our south going to go off the coast and then up into the east, up the eastern seaboard, leaving us dry and out of the rain and mainly sunny skies for the weekend. Temperatures throughout the area, 60 in Pittsburgh, 56 in Buffalo, 68 in Washington, and 70 degrees right now in New York City. 24-hour planner throughout the day today, warming it up to a 5-degree guarantee of 80 under mainly sunny skies, cooling it down tonight into the low and mid-50s under mainly clear skies. Future track, we're going to stay dry throughout the Twin Tiers throughout the next few days, looking great across the Twin Tiers for race weekend before the rain moves in next week, like I mentioned. Race weekend forecast Friday, mainly sunny skies, 5 degree guarantee today, 80. And then Saturday, another day of mainly sunny skies near 80. And then a little bit warmer on Sunday, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Can't rule out the slight chance of a scattered shower late in the day on Sunday. Didn't include it in the forecast there because it's a very slight chance, but can't rule it out. NASCAR schedule for today, like Ross mentioned, the track's going to be full of practice, starting with sprint cut practice at 1130 and then going all the way till final practice this evening at 440. And then tonight, the first race kicks off the Bully Hill Vineyards 125 at the Glen, 615 start time for that. And then tomorrow to start off your Saturday, qualifying for the Xfinity and Sprint Cup cars at 1115 and 115 before the Zippo 200, the Xfinity Series race at the Glen tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And then the big one, which everybody's looking forward to, the Cheez-It, 355 at the Glen Sunday at 2 o'clock, mostly sunny skies and temperatures right around 82 degrees at race time. Your first warning, seven-day forecast, 
Sunny skies today, tomorrow and Sunday. Temperatures right around 80 degrees and then showers and storms move in next week thanks to a cold front with temperatures dipping back down into the mid 70s. Don't forget about our Thunder at the Glen special Saturday night, 7 o'clock on WENY ABC presented by Williams Toyota of Elmira. Looking forward to a great show. Who are you, who you rooting for this weekend, Ross? I'm rooting for Dale Jr. I, I know you're rooting. For, that's your guy. I've heard a lot about that. I, I got to say, I think I'm rooting for Jeff Gordon. I mean, in his final go around, uh, he's won four times at, at WGI. He deserves it. You know, he hasn't Definitely. won yet this year. So. Definitely. Good choice. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great weekend, everybody.